Okay, my next tip for making videos, I want you to refrain from using a script if at all possible. Now this might be for reasons that are not so obvious. I want you to focus less on saying the right words and packing in as much information as you possibly can. And I want you to focus more on the kinesthetic feeling of actually talking to the camera in the same way that you would when you're having a conversation with someone. The truth is people won't absorb all the information you're trying to cram into a video. Instead, the actual kinesthetic feel you have for talking to the camera is what will leave a lasting impression with your viewers. It's like learning the feel of riding a bike or swinging a baseball bat. You develop a relationship with yourself of what it actually feels like to go through the activity. This is key to learning how to talk to a camera as comfortably and as fluidly as you would with somebody right in front of you. Now our focus is talking to a webcam or a camera when nobody's there to respond to us, nobody's there to give us feedback or to hear what we're saying. Our focus is on one-on-one, -on -one, just you and the camera. The other reason why I wanna encourage you not to use a script for your video is because it gets really boring. That is another skill all into itself. And there are scenarios where having a script would make a whole lot of sense. This isn't one of them. One of the things that's really hard to do when you're reading a script is to have fluctuations in your tone of voice and the speed of your voice. But this is something that we do naturally when we're in conversation. So again, Try to put down the scripts, if at all possible. If you're gonna prepare, do an outline preparation. Focus on the kinesthetic feel of talking to the camera. Think about it like learning to ride a bike or swing a baseball bat. And remember that if you do read a script, you're gonna have to learn the skill of fluctuating the tone and rhythm of the words as you're reading them, because that's how to sound natural like we normally do in conversations. As a recap from the first tip that I offered, remember to practice. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable and let people know that you're still getting better at this skill. And practice with bite-sized information. So my third tip will be coming up tomorrow. I appreciate you for watching. Let's connect, let's collaborate, let's work together. Peace.